Michael. Um, we would like to now ask uh, Pearl Coupe to share with us as well. Uh, Pearl is a, a regular contributor on this platform, so it certainly needs no introduction. But uh, just um, as Michael and Pearl often joke, uh, God's errand girl. Um, yeah, just all over the place, really. You will hardly find a nation building platform where Pearl is not part of it. And uh, we thank you, Pearl, for your tireless work in the kingdom. Uh, over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tians, and um, thank you for this opportunity just to share. And also a great big thank you to Dada Michael for just laying that foundation and reminding us of our roots and our heritage. And as you rightly said, Tian, that Friday, 24th of September, we're going to be celebrating Heritage Day in South Africa. And according to the South African government, uh, Heritage Day on 24th of September is supposed to recognize and celebrate our cultural or the cultural wealth of our nation. And it's supposed to be a day which South Africans celebrate by remembering the culture, cultural heritage of the many, many different cultures that make up the population of South Africa, the Tongas, the Basutu, the Batswana, the Bandebeles, the Bapedi, the Zulus, uh, Kosas, the Afrikaners, the Vendas, and so on and so forth. So it's a day that as we've observed over the years, South Africans will get out their traditional gear, their Zulu beads or whatever it is, and wear something that reflects their cultural roots and affiliation. And I want to start off by saying that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, with doing that, getting out our traditional gear. But the truth of the matter is that our real heritage will always be, has always been, will always be, and lies in God. It lies in Elohim. It lies in Adonai. And so when we're talking about heritage, you are essentially talking about the traditions, the achievements, the beliefs, et cetera, so on and so on, that are a part of the history of a group or a nation. And I just want to say, we cannot talk about our heritage without talking about the one who created us. So I'm talking really the next few minutes, I'm going to be sharing on reclaiming our heritage in God reclaiming our heritage in God. We cannot celebrate our heritage without celebrating the creator. When we go back to the beginning of time, he was there. He is alpha. He is omega. He's the beginning and he's the end. Our inheritance and our heritage is in him. In Ephesians 1.11, it says this, in Christ, in Christ, we have obtained an inheritance. He's our heritage. In Christ, we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. And 1 Peter 1, 4 says, it describes our inheritance, our heritage to say this, that we have been born again into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. So when we make sure that our heritage is in Yeshua, Hamashiach, we know that this is a heritage. Earthly inheritance will fade, they will perish, they will spoil. But our inheritance in Yeshua, our inheritance in God, our heritage in him is a heritage that will never perish, it will never spoil, it will never fade. In 2013, we celebrated Heritage Day under the theme, Reclaiming, Restoring, and celebrating our heritage. That was the theme of 2013. And I want to just say that in truth, we will never reclaim or restore our heritage without God, without God. And we cannot reduce heritage to just clothing. It's, it's not just clothing. And as much as we wear clothes, we can't reduce it to just clothing. It includes much more than that. Heritage connects us to identity. When you talk about heritage, you are talking about identity. And Galatians 3, 27 to 29 says this, for as many of you as were baptized into Christ 
into a spiritual union and communion with him, the anointed one, the Messiah, have put on, you've clothed yourself with Christ. There is now no distinction, neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither slave nor free. There's neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, are in him, then you are Abraham's offspring and spiritual heirs according to the promise. Our identity must be in Christ. Our heritage must be in Christ. As Africans, we understand our Ubuntu culture. And Ubuntu is not only African. Ubuntu is also kingdom. It reflects kingdom values. The principle of not individualism, but the principle of the collective honoring each other, esteeming one another, looking out for one another, taking care of one another. That, those are the inherent principles entrenched in Ubuntu. And so our heritage, when we reclaim our heritage, we reclaim also our Ubuntu and our kingdom-based values. And we do whatever it, may, it takes to protect our children. In Ubuntu, we will protect our children. We will uh, make sure that the unborn are protected from harm and destruction. That's all part of Ubuntu. And it's all part also of, 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 of reclaiming our heritage, making sure that children are protected, including the unborn, protected from sexual harm, uh, making sure that women are protected. That's all part of reclaiming our heritage, making sure that uh, there's the, the gender-based violence is not the theme that is coming out. So we are reclaiming our heritage in the Ubuntu values, which are kingdom and Christ values. They have a biblical perspective and a kingdom perspective. Ubuntu means, and reclaiming our heritage, means doing whatever it takes to protect the family unit with the understanding that the family is the pillar of society, protecting the family unit from immorality, protecting the family unit from unethical behaviors and protecting the family unit from eventual disintegration. We are a continent and a nation that believes in family and in the protection of family. So when we reclaim our Ubuntu culture and we ensure even that our economic policies and our economic strategies are led and directed and influenced in such a way that Everyone is clothed, everyone is fed, everyone is protected and has a roof over their head. Then we will be also reclaiming our heritage in God. When we reclaim our Ubuntu and kingdom-based heritage, we will also ensure that corruption is a thing of the past and ethical and servant leadership is our present and our future. So with these few words, I want to encourage us as Dr. Michael has said, we have an, an amazing footprint, an amazing heritage in terms of, of what has been done. The, the evangelist, the Tata, uh, Nicholas Bengus, and all of that, an incredible footprint. And we need to take it further. We need to go further. And as we celebrate this coming Heritage Day on Friday, the 24th of September, may it be a day that we celebrate our heritage in Yeshua HaMashiach, in God. And may we from today onwards celebrate it also as a day of thanksgiving, a day of thanking God for our heritage, first and foremost in him, our heritage in him, that in him we live and move and have our being. I close with this scripture, Psalms 24, 1 says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it thereof and its inhabitants. And we declare to you, South Africa, you belong to God, South Africa. Yes, as we celebrate Heritage Day, we celebrate the diversity that makes us South Africans. We celebrate the rainbow nation that we are in covenant with God because rainbow stands for covenant. It stands for promise. We celebrate that rainbow color that we are and the covenant promise of God for South Africa. And yes, we remember that we are unified in all our diversity, unity in diversity. And our prayer as we celebrate Heritage Day is make us one, Lord, as you were one. 
We are a rainbow nation that understands that there's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither Tosa nor Zulu, neither Tswana nor Sutu, neither Pedi nor Tsonga, neither Venda, Ndebele, Swati, English or Africana. We are one. Simunye, we are one. And we celebrate our oneness in Yeshua as we celebrate this Heritage Day. We celebrate it in you, Lord. We reclaim heritage, our heritage and heritage day as a day in which we honor you, we give you thanks, and we continue to dedicate this nation, which belongs to you. We dedicate it back to you. Have your own way, Lord. Thy will be done and thy kingdom come in South Africa, in the nations of Africa, and in the nations around the world. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you for, for the opportunity. To share. Amen. Thank you, Pearl. Much appreciated. Uh, thank you for the encouragement. And yeah, we love your passion. Amen to that. United in Christ. Um, yeah, bless you. 